Hey there, it's Tennille with Breezeway Productions, and we are here for the screening of Out of the Burning Blue. Stick around for some amazing interviews with Chris Klein and many, many more. It has been said that there, there are three kinds of people. Those who make it happen, those who watch it happen, and those who spend their lives asking. What happened? We are with. Three days ago, one of Germany's finest pilots defected from the Western Front. It is the highest priority that we find him. You want me to drive? No. Shit! Ah! Ah! Whose life it is we're out here supposedly saving. Joseph von Zimmermann, Germany's top ace. 23 confirmed kills. And one of those 23 kills was my brother. There are three kinds of people in the world. I know who I am. You, you're not thinking you're going to kill him? Now ask yourself, who are you? Hi, I'm Tennille with Breezeway Productions, and why don't you tell us who you are? Well, my name is Chris Klein. Um, and you're the lead of the movie. Oh, well, you want to do the whole thing. Why I'm not? Chris Klein, I'm the lead of the movie. Technically the lead, I guess. I guess... Uh, I guess I guess my name's first. So it is first. That's pretty cool. First, so so I guess I guess that means if it's good, I get blamed, and if it's bad, I get blamed. So tell us a little bit about your character that you're playing. Sure, uh, I play Jackson Cove in the movie, and uh, Jackson is a uh, is an American pilot uh, who uh, who was stationed in North Africa during World War One. He's grounded because of bad behavior and uh, put on special assignment to go find a, uh, a German pilot who's gone down uh, in the middle of the Sahara. So, uh, so he, he uh, him and, uh, and Victoria Summer's character um, go, out to, uh, go out to look for him and, uh, and we, we follow them on their adventure. I'm here with one of the leads, Victoria. Why don't you tell us a little about, about your character? Uh, I play a British nurse um, opposite Chris Klein and um, my character specifically has the most incredible character arc <laughs> and um, I don't really want to say too much because... You don't want to give it away? I don't want to give it away. Of course. I don't want to give it away, no. But I'm excited for everybody to see it, and uh, to do a period piece for me is incredible. See, to transport back to 1914, and I'm a big fan of period pieces. And so, what can you give a pointer for somebody who's about to do one? What was the most difficult thing about diving into somebody from a different time? Well, I mean, obviously, it's it's dealing with the language, the way that they spoke then. Specifically for me in this movie, I speak German in seven of my scenes, and I had never spoken German before, wow. apart from back at school when I was a teenager. So for me, it was learning German was the main point for this piece for me that I had to get under my hat literally five days before going on set. Oh wow. Yeah so it was pretty scary. I got the job very last minute. So Well that is impressive. Tell us who you are. Uh, Damien Lai, director yeah. of Out of the Burning Blue. So what made you want to do a period piece? Ah uh, look you know uh, my film career is steeped in historical pieces so yeah. I come from a documentary background um, so true stories, history, military Military stuff, you know, there's so many beautiful stories to be found in our past and, you know, Out of the Burning Blue is kind of a culmination of uh, uh, exploring history and, and just being a part of history and appreciating history, I guess. So, you know, period piece to me was like a challenge, but something that, you know, I really felt passionate about. When I saw the, uh, the script the first time, when I read it the first time, it reminded me a little bit to, to uh, old movies, to movies like Peck and Paul did it, 
or the spaghetti westerns or the early Tarantino and I was very attracted by this atmosphere which you know it it was just in my mind but I could see it I could see it already could see it on the screen and uh, it was something very special raw stuff cool stuff this movie here is a terrific example of uh, of, 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 of what can be accomplished um, with, with with limited with limited budget constraints you know um, you know we, we did this on a very shoestring budget and we were already willing and able to uh, put our boots on and get our hands dirty and go to work there and uh, and uh, and I'm, I'm just really excited to get it out there that's fantastic I'm, I'm pretty proud of it yeah oh, good I'm yeah. glad to hear that so what drew you to this story in particular well this story was actually inspired by true events so and it was a, it, it began for me as a documentary project uh, which I turned into a theater piece uh, and then from there turned it into uh, a feature film but there's not much left of the actual <laughs> true story at all but it really the the story of uh, that I was working on really inspired me it was such a beautiful era such a beautiful location, yeah. such a beautiful, simple story, but so big and so wonderful at the same time. So, you know, to bring it to a feature film has just been, you know, I couldn't see it as anything else. Even as working as a documentary in theatre, you know, it really sells and works as a, as a theatrical piece. We have it, folks. We've heard from the director, the stars, and many, many more. So be sure to check out Out of the Burning Blue, coming to you from Hollywood, California. With Breezeway Productions, I'm Tanil Marie Gusick. Have a great day.